Santiago Bernabeu. It's a one o'clock kickoff. They're calling it the Vermouth Classico. It's not a usual time to be playing a football match of this quality, but what better time, what better occasion as the players trot out onto the pitch than to see Football Club Barcelona visiting the home of La Liga champions, European champions, world champions, Real Madrid. They're champions of all those things, but going into this game, they're 11 points behind the La Liga leaders. Uh, I'm joined once again by Mitchell Salgado and Frank de Boer. Uh, Mitchell, as always, a magnificent atmosphere greeting the players here. Well, great memories for me, and to see the fans like that, it's unbelievable, it's great. You know, they know they have to be behind the players today. It's a special game before Christmas, by the way. I'm trying to recover three points to the, different, the distance now, to the difference is capital for Real Madrid. Just to uh, confirm the lineups for Real Madrid, Kayla Navas in goal, Carvajal, Varane, Ramos, Marcelo forming the back four. A Solid. surprise for us from Zinedine Zidane, Tony Cruz. Kovacic comes in to play alongside Casemiro in central midfield with Modric wide and up front. Benzema and Cristiano Ronaldo and Frank de Boer, we were all surprised by the inclusion of Kovacic today. Yes, yeah, very surprised. Everybody uh, were expecting Isco, of course, or uh, Bale maybe instead of Isco because of his speed and his yeah, good performance normally against uh, Barcelona. But uh, yeah, he wants to play four against four on the midfield, uh, probably. So uh, that's uh, why he chose for uh, Kovacevic with uh, his uh, yeah, energy, his uh, defensive quality. So we, we're going to see it's uh, working out. But uh, I was uh, yeah, preferring for East Coast, of course, because uh, everybody, you know, love to see uh, East Coast play. Well, the captains are greeting each other with match referee Jose Maria Sanchez Martinez. Iniesta for Barcelona, Sergio Ramos for Real Madrid, the Barcelona lineup, Ter Stegen in goal, the back four, Sergio Roberto, Piquet, there, Milan, and uh, Jordi Alba in midfield, Iniesta, uh, Sergio yeah. Busquets, and Rakitic, and Paulinho with up front, Leo Messi, and Luis Suarez. Real Madrid will be, uh, as Sergio Ramos goes to receive the FIFA Club World Cup, to present to the ecstatic fans in the Bernabeu. There was a little bit of controversy. The question was whether Barcelona would offer Real Madrid a guard of honour coming out onto the pitch as world champions. That hasn't been done, but the Bernabeu is paying its tribute to the champions of the world for the second year on the trot. Zinedine Zidane's Real Madrid. Sergio Ramos, the man showing off the trophy to the fans, a superb aerial view of the ground. I was saying that uh, I don't think there was need, you know, for Barcelona to do so, because that's an habit that is only done in league, and it was a club World Cup, so uh, no controversy for me. OK, good. I mean, th there are opinions of every single colour here. Frank, yeah. you were saying... Oh, yeah, maybe, morning. you know, when you are t together at the warming up, so coming up the pitch, maybe that's the difference, but... Uh, that's why what's the game is much more important. The classic goes underway. That's the only important thing right now. Barcelona in their traditional blue and red, attacking the goal to the left of your screens. A searching ball there for Luis Suarez. It's hoiked away by Rafa Varane. Picked up here by Jordi Alba. Really pressure high from Carvajal. Yeah. into Jordi Alba, so that's what we were talking, that's yeah. why Kovacic is playing. Yeah, he's playing on Busquets. Yes, he's playing on Busquets and even... Floated forward by Marc-André Ter Stegen, one in the air by Paulinho, but all the advantage for Casemiro, who gives the first touch of the game this afternoon to Kayla Navas. Ramos wins the throw-in. Spectacular scenes around this. Bernabeu Stadium. I don't think there's a single Ooh, empty seat. A there's a chance for Ronaldo. Benzema in the middle. Ronaldo still finds his man, finds Tony Cruz. Cruz wide to Carvajal. Carvajal's cross is blocked by Alba. Carvajal will get a second opportunity. He waits for the ball to go out for the first corner of the game. We were talking about the importance of the fullbacks, you know, in this Real Madrid, Marcelo Carvajal. They are bringing some depth into this team. 
And now we, we saw Carvajal getting the byline. And that's going to be a big fight between Carvajal and Jordi Alba. I mean, yes, you saw directly that also Marcelo was also directly very high up the pitch. The referee having a word with Gerard Piquet. Tony Cruz to take the first corner of the game. Cruz pauses, looks up. Swings it in. Goal. And it's in the oh. back of the oh. net. Oh. Offside, Not offside. counted, it's it offside. doesn't stand. The linesman's flag was up. But that was a scary moment for Football Club Barcelona. Joao Piquet quick to get the ball moving oh. again. Wobbly moments there for Football Club Barcelona. Rakitic. Yeah, that's a very loose ball indeed. Well, Carvajal brings it under control, uh, but it'll be a throw to Football Club Barcelona. Well, definitely, that, that, that's the thing that Zidane wanted, for, you know, since the first minute. Pressure is for Ramadi, and they are going out to the pitch, you know, to try to win the game since the first minute. Well, it was Ronaldo but, clearly uh, in an offside position there, it has to be said. No question about the yeah. linesman's decision. And it's Valverde who returns the ball there to Danny Carvajal. Carvajal swings it through to the centre where Sergio Ramos is supported by Tony Cruz. Ramos square to Rafa Varan, high pressing from Messi and Suarez too. Carvajal down the line, it's intercepted by Jordi Alba. Iniesta losing out to a combination of Modric and Carvajal. Casemiro back to Kayla Navas. Uh, Madrid is starting very aggressive yeah. and uh, looking very comfortable uh, the first couple of minutes. And just look where Marcelo and Carvajal are. They're yeah. playing as wingers, or certainly wing backs, aren't they? Well, that, that's what. You know, having four plays in midfield allows you, yeah. you know, to have your your footballs really high in the pitch. Even they're starting the, the football, you know, in, in halfway line. But I'm getting to that one ahead of Rakitic has played out to Cruz. Cruz finding Marcelo. Marcelo's got Ronaldo making a little movement to his left. Here's Ronaldo in the middle, Marcelo. And also Karim Benzema, but it's blocked by Gerard Piquet. It'll be a throw into Real Madrid. Appreciative applause from the home fans. Ronaldo to take the throw. Leaves it for Marcelo in that little block of sunlight. Here's Marcelo. Spreads it wide nicely to Danny Carvajal. He's going to try a shot. Well, that's something Zinedine Zidane insists on. He likes his players when they get a sight of goal to try the shot to test the rival keeper. Carvajal didn't quite catch that one enough. Here's Iniesta being harried there and eventually fouled by Luka well, Modric. We say when we approach a game like that, we say that always it's always good, you know, to have the to have to get the first shot, yeah. to have the first ball, you know, to put the pressure high on, on the on the position. So well, Ramadi are trying that. Yeah, well they've had the first corner, yes. they've had the first, first serious shot. attack, first disallowed goal, first shot on target. Yeah. Looking but it's good. also good, you know, for the public that there's a feeling, you know, they're going behind well. the, uh, the squad. So it's always nice to have. Sergio Roberto looks for Paulinho. Paulinho being harried there by Casemiro. Tony Cruz helping him out. He does well. Kovacic got his first touch and laid it off to Casemiro. His Ronaldo. Flag stays down to his Ronaldo still. The cross blocked by Gerard Piquet, played out by Rakitic. Now Sergio Roberto finds Leo Messi. First time. First touch from Messi. Not yet. Picked up by Kovacic. It's Carvajal. Modric gets away from Busquets. Busquets responds and plays it back comfortably well, to Testegen. Five minutes and a half, and you know, Barcelona haven't been able to cross the, the halfway line. Well, there's no major surprise there. I think Gerard Piquet making out that the sun is bothering him. And a little bit of play, uh, play there between him Look, and it, the fans. It's one against one in all of the pits uh, right now. So it's uh, it's really the high pressure from uh, Real Madrid to, to Barcelona. Fullbacks on fullbacks, four midfielders against more four midfielders, and two uh, central defenders against the two strikers of uh, Barcelona. And Ter Stegen being forced to play the ball long every time yeah. and look for the head of Paulinho. He's done it three times on the trot now. Marcelo finding Casemiro. It's Sergio Ramos. Tony Cruz. Casemiro back to Ramos. 
Cruz turning away from Leo Messi. Good work from Messi. It falls to Paulinho. And that's a fine challenge and a legal challenge from Casemiro and Paulinho. Carvajal has trouble under pressure from Alvin oh, controlling that one. Oh, Responds good. brilliantly. And in the end, Rafa Varane winning the throw in for Real Madrid. Nervous moments there for uh, Danny Carvajal. Well, they watered the pitch. It was a foul. <laughs> I think it maybe was a foul, Frank, seeing the replay. Paulinho certainly felt it was. A little light, yeah. But then again, if the referee is allowing some contact, it could be good for the game. Who knows? We'll see. Meanwhile, it's Carvajal. It keeps a high tempo of the game, so uh, it's good. It's good for the game. Leo Messi lays it off for Suarez. Suarez miscues that, and the flag offside. up for offside. Referee has a little word with Luis Suarez, and he wants another word with the Uruguayan. I think this is going to be a warning, but he's insisting that play is stopped while he has words with Luis Suarez, who is not at all happy. And let's have a look. Well, I think he's uh, correct to be unhappy. I think he beats the off offside trap there by a whisker. Varane picks out Marcelo, lovely control from the Brazilian. Back to Tony Cruz. Cruz to Modric in a, a big space there. He gets away from Rakitic. Finds Ronaldo, a little touch back. Oh. Marcelo, and he saw Cruz's run there. Problems for Piquet. Benzema oh. with the interception, but there's a foul free kick in favour in favor of Barcelona. Home fans not too happy with that one. Now Barcelona has more problem with the pressure than, uh, yeah. than Madrid right now. And they were lucky that the pass didn't went through to uh, cross because then he was one against one against the uh, Castillo. The Milan picking out Jordi Alba. Alba to Paulinho. First time from Busquets to the Milan. Alba once more. Iniesta offers the option. Iniesta to Busquets. Busquets does so <laughs> well to find Rakitic. Gets the return ball. Well, we talked about his football intelligence well, before the game, and uh, it's like saying, come yeah. and take the ball off me. Yeah, he's a, he's a different player, Busquets. You know, uh, the thing is that in football, there are two ways of speed. The speed that you go in a, in a like the physical speed when you are quick, and the second one is the way you think. Yeah. And obviously, this player is a, is a different player. He thinks, diff you know, differently. He thinks quicker than anybody. And even when the ball is just transfer, he's already thinking what he's going to do. So uh, that, that makes him, you know, a special player. Danny Carvajal plays it back to Kovacic. He gets the return ball from Casemiro, finds Luka Modric. Modric to Carvajal, first time ball to Kovacic, who holds off Busquets. Back to Modric once more. Now all the players in a space of, what, 15 yards, really? Yeah, we said it. When you know, is that the midfield is really crowded, and you know, Fida introducing four midfielders is trying to to outrun, you know, the, the Barcelona. Marcelo does brilliantly to find Cruz. Cruz in oh. the box. Ronaldo oh. miscues it, and it's Iniesta there to put the ball out of touch, and he's in problems there. He was caught, Iniesta. and he stays down, and he wants attention from the bench. And Iniesta seriously in trouble. Also in trouble there, Cristiano Ronaldo. That was almost a penalty. He, he was practically on the penalty spot, and it's a total oh, air shot. Boys. And the it's challenge there. Let's oh, have a look. It's a miss shot there yeah, with his left. With his left. Completely misses the ball, and it's Carvajal who follows through. And Iniesta is in trouble here. The Barcelona techno medical staff off the bench giving treatment to the man from the Mancha. Well, it's and it was uh, the second time eh, that uh, Kroos made uh, a run behind the Barca oh, defence. And the first time he didn't receive it, and now he received it. And it was directly very dangerous. Well, Duncan McMath, we can see there Zinedine Zidane chatting to Danny Carvajal. Um, what was the reaction of Ernesto Valverde to see in Iniesta there writhing in agony on the ground? Oh, yeah. Well, it Valverde's right on the edge of his technical area as well. He'll be extremely worried. It's a really nasty challenge. It's only, um, he's not been given as a foul. It's going to be a corner for, for Real Madrid. Iniesta now hobbling off the pitch with the club's doctor. Um, there's not going to be a substitution yet there. 
Val Valverde, I'm watching him now. He's shrieking across the pitch. He's trying to, he's trying to speak to, to the doctor to see what should happen here. Cruz takes the corner. Gerard Piquet wins it in the air. Heads clear. It falls back to Tony Cruz, who picks out Danny Carvajal. Iniesta, it seems to be Duncan is trotting back and looking to get back on the pitch. Yeah, he's just run in front of me now. He looks absolutely fine. Actually, he's not even hobbling too much, so I think he'll be okay. Meanwhile, the danger continues for Barcelona. Jordi Alba with the headed clearance. Only as far as Luka Modric brings the ball under control, turns and finds Carvajal. Carvajal's crossed to the far post, headed down, and uh, this time the whistle goes for a push in the area, free kick to Football Club Barcelona. I just want to say, with all the rivalry in this ground, when Andres Iniesta hobbled off, the Bernabeu applauded him. Hats off to the fans of Real Madrid this afternoon for that gesture. It's a free, it's a kick, well, free kick to be taken by Ter Stegen. Iniesta is a very appreciated player in, in all the in all the fields in Spain after his goal in the World Cup. Obviously, <laughs> but in a game as tense as this, yeah. that shows yeah, offside, yeah, offside. Offside. Yeah, offside again. Is the it? flag stays down. No, there it goes up. Yeah. And once again, Ter Stegen sending the ball long, deep into the Real Madrid half. There's no playing the ball out from the back for Barca in these opening 12, nearly 13 minutes. Yeah, and the key factor for that is because Barcelona cannot find Busquets in clear areas because Kovacic, Kovacic is over him all the time. Yeah. That's the strategy for Zidane. That, that worked in the, in the Super Cup and is working right now in the first 10 minutes, 12 minutes. Leo Messi on the ball for Barcelona. Plays it back to Ivan Rakitic, who's dropped in between the two centre-backs. Here's Thomas Vermeilen. Jordi Alba, Carvajal quickly blocking his way. Busquets back to Rakitic again. Rakitic finds Paulinho. He turns away from Casemiro. His second touch a bit heavy. The ball comes to Marcelo. He looks at Ronaldo making a break. Down the left, brings it under control superbly well. But his pass towards Cruz, intercepted by Rakitic. Rakitic finds Paulinho. Sergio, Sergio Roberto wow. made a run, and uh, that will be a throw in to Real Madrid. Marcelo wants to take it quickly. Gets the ball back from Casemiro. Casemiro to Rafa Veran. Now Carvajal, Modric making a break. That's an intelligent ball, Ter Stegen, the keeper sweeper, quick off his line to see that. And uh, not every keeper would have had the nerve to go out and anticipate that ball. Uh, Ter Stegen is in unbelievable form this year. This is, I think he's right. There are so many good goalkeepers uh, uh, this season, not only in, in Spain, but also uh, abroad, what? like uh, yes. in, in England. But Ter Stegen, for me, you know, he's um, having an amazing season. Well, Luis Suarez chased that one in vain. He's cutting a very lonely figure up front. Is Luis Suarez, Leo Messi dropping back amongst this hugely populated midfield. Meanwhile, it's Carvajal. He finds Casemiro. Casemiro to Toni Kroos. Here's Ronaldo. Marcelo outside him. Good ball. Good ball back to Ronaldo into the area, lays it off for Benzema. He gets it out from under his feet. He can't make the pass. It's played out quickly to Leo Messi and Marcelo very quick yeah. to close him down. It'll be a throw in to Football Club Barcelona. And the first groans there from the home fans towards Benzema, I think, as he failed to latch on with that one from Cristiano Ronaldo. Is Messi. That's a problem. Well That's done. brilliantly defended by Ramos. The ball comes to Iniesta, fully recovered now. Leo Messi. Well, I think it's the first time we see Barcelona the whole side, you know, in the in the position, have we? Plenty in there. Look, Andres Iniesta floats one over the top towards Messi, just over hit. 15 minutes gone in the Bernabeu. It's Real Madrid nil, Football Club Barcelona nil. Barcelona have withstood Madrid's initial pressure. That would have been surely Valverde's first uh, task for the players. Hold on to the initial onslaught, don't go behind quickly. Yeah, definitely, because, you know, they knew that the pressure was going to be really high, and especially when they saw the lineup, of course, with Kovacic included, they knew even more that the pressure was going to be uh, double on, on, on Busquets, you know. So, uh, as I said, uh, the key, the key role right now of Kovacic is trying to stop Busquets from playing. 
and crowding the, the midfield to try to outrun, you know, uh, Barcelona midfielders. It's Cristiano Ronaldo, it's a long possession from Madrid, it's not going very far. Foul from Busquets on Ronaldo, free kick to Real Madrid. And the good thing that Real Madrid are doing as well is finding the spaces behind the, full, the Barcelona full pass. Uh, it can be with with the, with our fullbacks, you know, with Carvajal and, and and Marcelo, or it can be with diagonals from Cross and Modic that are doing. So that's the space that Real Madrid are, are finding. The space is behind their Barcelona fullbacks. Marcelo looking for Casemiro, one in the air by Vermeil, and the home fans unhappy. That was allowed to go. Rakitic gets away from Marcelo. Doesn't have too much support. He's got Messi to his right. Is Messi? Suarez. Sergio Roberto makes a run. So too does Paulinho. Waiting there, Baran to clear. Chance on the break now for Real Madrid. Cruz finding Casemiro. Casemiro turning away from Busquets. Again, again Cruz, cross. Benzema and Ronaldo waiting. Here's Benzema. His first time touch intercepted by Gerard Piquet. Busquets on the ball, leaves it for Iniesta. Fully recovered. Fortunately, here's Rakitic. Now Paulinho. Messi, Barcelona, to my mind, Frank, starting to look a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, but still the danger is, uh, I think, when they lose the ball or when uh, Madrid has the ball, the, what Mitchell already said, the midfielders who, you know, what a are really there. penetrating, you know, behind the, the, the defence. You saw, suddenly you saw Casimiro as a striker, so they, they really are focused on the midfielders who make runs behind the defence of Barcelona. Thomas Vermeilen taking a yellow card for the team there. It was a loose ball from Sergio Busquets, picked up by Modric, who was through quick as a flash, and Vermeilen thinking, I'm going to take the yellow card there, I've got to stop him, yep. Yeah, it's a professional foul, they call it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's yellow and it's quite uh, early in the, yep, in the game. So it well. is. It was needed because the, yeah. the break was, was really, really quick from Modric. And it's not like Busquets to, uh, to give a loose pass like that and quickly latched onto by Luka Modric. It'll be Tony Cruz to take the resulting free kick for Real Madrid. Cruz weighing up the options. Marcelo in a bit of space down the left. Carvajal two down the right, he puts it through the middle. Easily dealt with by Busquets. Paulinho pulled down, free kick to Barcelona. Mm. Mm. Duncan, well, you can see uh, Zinedine Zidane uh, making gestures out to the pitch, uh, but he must be fairly happy with the way things have gone so far. I think that's an understatement, Simon. I think he'll be absolutely delighted because his plan's absolutely working. Um, both Micho and Frank have commented about the midfield and, and Kovacic is being absolutely key there. It's him in the mid, in the middle of midfield that's freeing up Tony Cross and Luka Modric. We're seeing Cross on the Real Madrid left getting quite a lot of space in behind the fullbacks. Modric the same on the Real Madrid right and certainly Zidane so far his plan working 100%. It's a throw into Real Madrid inside their own half. Marcelo to take it. Looking for the best option. Kovacic offering an opportunity. So to Casemiro, return ball to Marcelo. He's very aware of Danny Carvajal. I think Alba's going to get there first. Trying to bring it under control. This is a real battle between these two. Alba oh, comes sure. out on top and uh, it's played out quickly by Mark Ter Stegen. Flicked on by Iniesta, but under pressure from Luka Modric. He couldn't really control that one. Valverde, you can see also very, very tense in the technical area. He was Modric. very, very animated, Simon, earlier about that The other challenge. side. Mm, totally Switch. Switch. Luka Modric, he finds Ronaldo. Oh, the best Not control. a good, good first touch from Ronaldo. And ah. his eventual cross blocked by Sergio Roberto, Sergio Roberto finding just uh, Paulinho and there were hands on heads in the Bernabeu as Ronaldo's first touch let him down there. Yeah, it was a very good uh, opportunity. Uh, when his first control was good, he had two options, or to lay it back to Marcelo or shoot himself. Yeah, now it took, uh, took too much time. Well, Alba's ball came off Carvajal, but Varane had to rush back to beat Suarez to it. It will be a throw-in to Football Club Barcelona. Suarez is absolutely isolated up front for, for Football Club Barcelona. He leaves this one for Jordi Alba. Yeah, when we're analysing Barcelona, we, we can say that maybe the Barcelona system 
is not helping Luis Suarez a little bit because obviously Messi is wandering, wandering around and uh, the only one to support a little bit, a little bit uh, Suarez is Paulinho. He's the only one just a little bit closer to him. Well, there's a lovely combination on the edge of the box between Paulinho, Messi and Iniesta, but Tony Lucky. Cruz won it. It comes to Kovacic. Busquets managing to close the corridor for him there. It's played back to Sergio Ramos, Ramos to Luka Modric. Modric, with all the time in the world, spreads it wide to Marcelo. He brings it under control. Making a run outside. Again. Tony Cruz spotted brilliantly by Marcelo, yeah. and that's Gerard Piquet at his elegant best. Fantastic defending of Piquet. He, he let his man loose and just covered uh, the space behind the two uh, Read, defenders. So reading the game really brilliant. well. Brilliant. Look, there's no way they can play from the back. No, no, we're going to see him send the, it long once the, again for the, sure. The game plan from Zidane is working. You yep. know what he wanted is just taking the ball of Barcelona, and it's happening. And Barcelona off the ball are not really comfortable. Uh, there's a rather loose That's one from Casemiro. Important for Suarez, he gets a touchdown to Leo Messi. Casemiro is there to quickly put him under pressure. He finds Paulinho. Messi in the box. Messi can't bring it under control, but it will be the first corner of the game to Football Club Barcelona. Won by Leo Messi. Well, we're halfway through the first half and it's nil-nil, and if it's true that Zinedine Zidane's game plan is working, it's also true that it's still nil-nil. In comes the corner, flicked away by Cristiano Ronaldo. Rakitic will keep the ball in play and does. Tony Cruz tries to block him. Rakitic gets away from the German, flicks it into Suarez. Benzema heads clear only as far as Busquets. And that will be Jordi Alba's for Barcelona to start again. Just, I think, slowly getting a little bit more into this game, Football Club Barcelona. But certainly, Real Madrid have had well, it's, one it's, or two it's very good openings, haven't it's, they? It's very difficult to keep that pressure for you know for a long time. Yeah, of course, because this, the, you know the, the demands physically is too much. So it will come a time where Barcelona will have uh, the ball a little bit more, and Real Madrid will have to drop back a little bit to save some energy. Jordi Alba playing the ball back to Thomas Vermeilen. Now Busquets. Vermeilen again on a yellow card, remember. Plays it back to Mark andre Ter Stegen. Yeah, you see again, one against one, the whole pitch. Yeah, it's, it's always Modric over Iniesta. The fullbacks, you know, pushing forward and, uh, and taking on... This Barcelona. is dangerous, Messi through the middle for Suarez. You can see Suarez isn't 100% physically, though. He was kind of loping towards that ball, never really got to, off the mark in terms of pace there, but a very quick through ball from Leo Messi to set him through. Good covering from Carvajal. Yeah. That's a nice flick from Kovacic to Toni Kroos. Kroos quick to pick out Danny Carvajal. He finds Kovacic again, back to Luka Modric. Modric to Toni Kroos. Cristiano Ronaldo. Kroos. Looking for Carvajal again, under pressure from Alba. He just shakes that pressure off, does Carvajal. Finds Modric. Modric to again. Kovacic, there's room and time here. Kovacic with the cross, easily dealt with by Thomas Vermeilen. That'll be another corner. That was a poor attempt, though. But again, you see, you know, the running of the midfielders have a lot of problems uh, with it, with behind the defence. Behind the fullbacks, yeah. especially. Yeah. That space is always, you know, for our midfielders. And Kovacic, cross, cross, and, uh, and, and Modric are doing really well, making those runs in behind. It's Tony Cruz to take the corner. Headed clear by Gerard Piquet. The whistle's gone. And it's Barcelona's ball. Frustrating for the fans. Just about on the penalty spot for Mark andre Ter Stegen. He tempted to play it short. Duncan, I don't think we've seen him play. That's the first time we've seen him play the ball short. Yeah, it's so difficult for him. Um, as you've been commentating, every single Barca player covered. There's no one that isn't being marked, so once again, he's been forced to lump it upfield. That's exactly what he does, looking for Suarez. And uh, Rafa Varane getting the better of Luis Suarez on that occasion. Here's Danny Carvajal. I don't think Kayla Navas, on the other hand, has had to lump it 
upfield on even one occasion, has no, it? No, because no. Uh, Messi is not the player kind of player who does that. You know, yeah, when he's very close to a player, he's uh, doing pressure, but for the rest, the other team has to solve that problem. Ronaldo putting the ball into the box, saw it perhaps just a little bit late there. Karim Benzema, Busquets finding Sergio Roberto. Tony Cruz trying to close him down and succeeding. Here's Gerard Piquet. Turns away from Ronaldo, the Bernabeu Gia, Gerard Piquet. No surprises there. Mar Marcelo does brilliantly under pressure to lay that one off to Ramos. Ramos oh, under oh, pressure, oh. plays it back. It was a loose one. Kayla Navas very quick one. to see it. It'll be a throw to Barcelona. It's gone into a strange couple of minutes the game at the moment with no one really having the initiative and one or two unforced errors we'd say oh well, on technical point of view it's a fantastic game if you see yeah. you know it's uh, really uh, uh, madrid who has to control because they pr uh, take the pressure on uh, barcelona because they know they want to build up from behind and you know i think always you have to do pressure on uh, barcelona because if you let them play uh, you're going to be uh, with your back uh, in your own uh, box. So, yeah, this is much better. And you see what the result is right now. That was a great run from Kovacic. He laid it off to Marcelo, whose cross was headed clear. Marcelo gets another opportunity. Piquet clear once more. Modric getting to that one ahead of Paulinho. Toni Kroos getting there ahead of Rakitic. Modric with a high kick. It's going to be a free kick. Modric stays down. Let's see what the referee thinks about that one. He's gone across to... Have a look, and yes, to helping Modric to his feet. No further punishment involved, but the boot is raised very, very high indeed. Well, there is an individual battle in all the all the parts of the pitch, and right now, so far, all the battles are won by Ramadi players. Suarez playing that one off to Paulinho. He's closed down by Ramos. Ramos makes the gesture. Get up, get up. The referee blows the whistle and gives a foul against the Real Madrid captain. Simon, just to pick up on a point that Mitchell Salgado has just made, you really get the feeling at the moment Real Madrid just want this a little bit more than Barca. They're winning every 50-50. We just saw Luka Modric beat Paulinho in the air to a header. That should not be happening, but at the moment, Madrid are doing it and they're, they're beating Barca to everything. Good point, Duncan. It's played quickly to Rakitic. He gets it back from Sergio Roberto. Uh, being pressured by Toni Cruz, he finds Busquets. Busquets picking up Messi, who tries to turn away from Kovacic. It's a good challenge from Kovacic. Messi somehow finds Sergio Roberto. Back to Ivan Rakitic now. Square to Gerard Piquet. Piquet through the middle. Suarez. Finds Sergio Roberto. Everybody except Ter Stegen in the Real Madrid half, and that's the first all game. Oh, Floated well. through the middle, Paulinho! Touched it. So close, and I think Navas got a touch, did yeah. he? In that case, that's an astonishing save from the Costa Rican. And Barca's best opportunity of the first half so far. It fell to Paulinho, and this is a moment of magic. Paulinho timing the run. Messi sees it, and it's a fantastic so This thing. is where we That's talked insane. about before the game, you know, yeah. with Messi, with this kind of quality. Yeah. He gives, with such a sensitive uh, yeah, feed, he gives that ball, and it's unbelievable. Rakitic with the resulting corner. Oh, It comes to Piquet, loose ball. Carvajal losing out oh, to Piquet, no, winning it back. Here's Marcelo, chance on the break for Real Madrid. Yeah, Marcelo can't, can't uh, get away from Jordi Alba. He finds Casemiro, now Cruz. Barcelona have just about got back into position. Kovacic, I'll tell you what, that was a world-class piece of goalkeeping by Kayla Navas. Yeah, and we were talking about the rumours of, uh, you know, bringing another goalie. And every performance from Kayla Navas is better and better. So uh, we, can, we can say that he can handle the pressure in a, in a really good way. But the ball that Messi put in for Paulinho, it's, it's seeing the pass, it's visualising the pass, and then it's being able to pull it off, isn't it? Meanwhile, Marcelo finding Cristiano Ronaldo, driving it Sergio Roberto. Oh, across the face of the goal. And the also crowd on his feet, <laughs> it's a marvellous stop there from Mark Ter Stegen. Punch in, the, punch in the air, Simon, as, as he made that save right in front of me. I was oh. at the perfect angle. He, you could see him punch in the air as he saw it go past the oh. far post. Brilliant stop. 
That's a handball. It's and there's that gesture Duncan yeah. McMath's talking about. Well, this has really heated up over the last few minutes. Tony Cruz with the corner. And it was Ronaldo dropped a little bit back towards the penalty spot, got a touch to it, unable to really direct it or get too much uh, power behind his header. But all of a sudden, this game looking alive and looking as though with 15 minutes to go, 14 before the half-time break, something has got to give. Modric, Iniesta getting there ahead of it, Iniesta taking off Carvalho. The fans claiming for a handball, the uh, linesman and move, nothing there, no, Duncan? No, I don't think so. No, 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 no one interested on the... Uh, of, uh, none of the officials interested, for sure. Ter Stegen plays the ball out of his own this area. Good. This is good. Took a ball to Paulinho, brings it under control. But Ramos's pressure was just enough. Swadev fighting to win it back. Here's Iniesta. Fancy footwork from him. And finds Swadev. All the way back to Vermeilen. Square to Piquet. Vermeilen telling Piquet to play it wide to Sergio Roberto. Instead, it's Jordi Alba on the ball. It's a real duel, Alba Carvajal. Yeah, we were talking about it before yeah, the game. Yeah, we are talking about it. Sergio Roberto now, Marcelo goes in to try yeah, and good, frustrate him. That's a good ball to Rakitic, who's onside. And brilliantly dealt with by oh, Cruz. Back to Kayla Navas, under pressure from Suarez. Calmly and collectedly, he finds Rafael Varan. Varan looking for Benzema. Benzema battling with Vermeilen, wins the throw in. Apart from the yellow card, which we agreed he had to take, Vermeilen's looking very solid. Looking solid, yeah. So far. Carvajal with the throw. Kovacic making a run, trying to get away from Rakitic. And instead, it's given straight to Rakitic. Messi on the ball. Now drew up Piquet. Bursting forward, Piquet. First time swatted back to Sergio Roberto. Messi wants it. Messi gets it. And uh, Benzema was quick to see that. Ronaldo, a little back healer. Just couldn't quite find a way to break through there, but Modric over the top for Ronaldo. Ronaldo's on side. Benzema's in the middle! And that will be the linesman oh, no. and the referee looking at each other and deciding it's a goal kick. Well, that's the first time Benzema's really been a threat in this six-yard box there. The linesman and the ref didn't want the responsibility for that decision. Modric's ball over the top. But again, another ball in behind Jordi yeah. Alba. And it's causing a lot of damage, you know, for, for, Barcelona, for Barcelona defense. I think it yeah, came off Benzema. He got it, he got it right. He got, he got it right. absolutely spot on. It's a good call. The only yeah. problem is the ref looked at the linesman. The linesman looked at the ref. Nobody wanted <laughs> no. to take the decision. And normally they take uh, always the, the defensive decision. But on this case, we've seen the re replay, they got it right. There's that, that Kalen have a stop. Safe. That is quality. But the pass through from Leo Messi, absolutely telly directed. And, and the finishing first touch as well. And Casemiro quick to take the ball off Messi's feet. Messi doesn't look too happy with that. Carvajal finds Cristiano Ronaldo. Back to Luka Modric. It's a very, very impressive performance from Real Madrid in these opening 35 minutes. Cruz to Marcelo. Marcelo cutting inside set. Gilberto twists and turns. Finds Toni Cruz. Casemiro oh. loses possession. Suarez. Suarez bursting through the middle. I'm not sure if bursting is the word. Oh, he's, he's struggling physically. He can't. He can't sprint. He can't seem to get the sprint going. And finally, the poor touch lets him down. Gerard Piquet with the interception. Busquets with his knee, picked up by Ronaldo. Ronaldo's work ethic is very impressive today, Mitchell. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a special game, and as we said before, when you need Ronaldo in the, these kind of games, you know, you got Ronaldo, the best Ronaldo. Here's Marcelo, lovely control. Feeds it through to Toni Kroos, his attempt to a first-time ball back to Ronaldo, just about intercepted or deflected by Busquets. Kovacic. 
Marcelo making a run. Oh, his that's feet a great run lovely a control ball. by Marcelo. Gets into the box. No, no. I think he lost his balance there, and the referee thinks so too. Here's Busquets, a dink over the top towards Iniesta. Iniesta trying to get away from Carvajal, supported by Alba. Lovely back heeler to Iniesta, who just ran out of gas, I think, there, and couldn't quite make the pass pay. But there was danger there for Real Madrid. Jordi Alba wants more. Duncan, we can see Zinedine Zidane shouting at his players from the technical area. He won't be quite so happy now, I suppose, as uh, after 15 minutes, is that right? Um, I don't think so. I think he'll be very happy. They've basically limited Football Club Barcelona to one chance, which was just a magnificent piece of play from, from Messi and Paulinho. Other than that, I think Barca have been pretty flat. They haven't um, been too dangerous with the ball at all. Sergio Roberto with the cross. It's not a good one. Marcelo's in trouble. He sprinted back to stop that one, reaching its intended target, which is Sergio Roberto. Took a knock and he's going to need treatment. Duncan. Yeah, it's right at the other end of, of the pitch, so I haven't got a great view of it, but certainly Marcelo goes down under the challenge. Yes, it's head to it. Yeah, I thought so. And Kovacic comes across to get uh, a well-deserved drink of water. It looks to me as though Marcelo is going to be able to continue without too many problems. And Zinedine Zidane Duncan having words with Kovacic. Yeah, he'll be delighted with, with the way Kovacic is, is playing. Um, just breaking up the Barca play when, whenever he can, but we've seen him floating all over the pitch as well, making good runs down the left-hand side, so he's certainly not sitting in between the centre-backs. He's, um, he's, he's, he's been on the ball an awful lot so far. Rafa Varane for Real Madrid. Seven minutes to go before the break. Ramos finding Marcelo, fully recovered. There's one for Kovacic to chase. And uh, getting across quickly, Thomas Vermeilen. He did well then, picks himself up rather groggily, it's a throw in to Football Club Barcelona. Busquets to Sergio Roberto, and being harried, he turns away from Marcelo, brilliantly there to Sergio Roberto. Picks out Iniesta, this is better from Barcelona. Jordi Alba with a bit of space, Paulinho arriving to the edge of the box as is Swanev, Messi lays it off for Iniesta. Iniesta oh. gets away there from Luka Modric. In the box, a back heeler from Alba to Messi. Messi still gets the cross in, Paulinho with the header. And what a save from Kayla Navas once again. He was wrong-footed, pushed it away. That's the second opportunity for Barca. And once again, it's Leo Messi involved in the thick of things. Oh, this one was not so difficult. Though. Well, it was. But it's going the wrong way, surely, yeah. first. It was the first time that we saw a, the real Barcelona. Yeah. yeah. Jordi Alba's looking confident, and if you give Iniesta and Messi, well, it's at the tiniest bit of space, they will make you pay for it. Rakitic with the resulting corner. It's headed clear. Iniesta getting to it first. He finds Don't Messi. Messi holding on under intense pressure from Kovacic. So strong. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable skills and determination from Messi. Ooh, Suarez wow. gets away from Marcelo, Ooh, and it's cleared by Casemiro. Ronaldo brings the ball under control. Marcelo, quick to no. find Benzema. He's got to release it. Oh, Here's Ronaldo. Only Sergio Roberto and Iniesta back. Plays it back for Benzema. Couldn't get the ball out from under his feet. Finally, it comes to Luka Modric. Danny Carvajal. Carvajal's cross to the Goal. far post. Oh. Oh. Brilliant defending by Gerard Piquet. Brilliant defending. The ball's still in play with Marcelo. Oh. Oh. Gets away from uh, Sergi Busquets. He plays it back to Cruz. Cruz to Carvajal. Carvajal's cross. Blocked by Vermeilen. Falls to Carvajal again. Modric with the shot. Dragged wide. That's a game. You're enjoying it, guys. Fantastic You're enjoying it. Game. But it was fantastic defending of PK because he was just jumping in the air just to try to block the shot like a volleyball player. And look it at the Barca defense. Piquet's down. I'm not sure if that's Jordi Alba perhaps who's down. They look like survivors. 
from the Second World War. Duncan, can you see anything from where you are? Yeah, Jordi Alba down right in front of me, just winded. Um, he was being helped by Andres Iniesta, got, got the wind knocked out of him in that challenge, but he's back on his feet and he's going to be able to continue, uh, what, no question uh, about what it. What about Gerard Piquet, who seems to be struggling too, or is that just he, getting his breath back? He was just getting his breath back, okay. he's now all right, ready to receive the ball on the edge of the area. Brilliant defence, as you said, Frank, there from Piquet. Definitely, you know, he's, uh, he's the key player in there. But the good thing is, the last five minutes we saw the best of the strengths of Barcelona's strengths and Ramadi's strengths. Absolutely. Barcelona put Ramadi on pressure for, for two or three minutes, and then suddenly Ramadi played on the break, and nearly they were really close to score. Here's Tony Cruz. Feet it to Marcelo. Marcelo driving a Sergio Roberto. Little step over, but Sergio Roberto takes it off him. Paulinho on the ball. Stops, looks up. Sergio Roberto calling for it. Finally getting it, but a bit too late. Ramos with brilliant anticipation. Yeah. Little dink over the top to Marcelo. Marcelo driving oh, the cross, and there's Benzema! Flicked oh. off the edge of the post. Lucky. That was Real Madrid, quick on the break. Yeah, Karim Fumano Benzema. Was, was not good defending of Fumano. He was really ball-watching, oh, you know, nice. just uh, how, how great the cross was, and he was standing still. He, you can see it really. You know, he's now only watching the ball, he's waiting. And, yeah, an attacker always, you know, attacks the ball. And, uh, yeah, he has to uh, attack also the ball, so... You've got great to, header, great header. Was, you've got to say, you've got to feel sorry for Karim Benzema. He so needs a goal, and that's oh. the second time on the trot he's hit the post. He hit the post against Sevilla last time out. The goal has to come, Mitchell. Well, that was simple and great football, you know. Is is, but again, his Carvajal gets sorry. into the box, plays oh. it square. There's no time to comment. The move. No, there's no time to comment. Carvajal going in there firmly, wins the throw for Real Madrid. Just under two minutes to go. Iniesta taken off him by Kovacic, who's been excellent in this first half. Yeah, he's also recovering a lot. Ramos to Marcelo. Benfima. Intercepted by Sergio oh, Roberto. Alba. Yeah. Risky there. That was risky, yeah. Be careful. Sergio Roberto. Oh, and that outside. wasn't a good one. Ah. And Cristiano Ronaldo yeah. returning from an outside, offside yeah. position. Well, the game is frantic. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but every this is time, why it's called a classico. Yeah. Every time there is so much space behind the last uh, line of Barcelona. And, and Ramadi know it. Yeah. Ramadi know it. Gerard Piquet. But the same, Barcelona is the same, but the, the fullbacks are not that high up the pitch like uh, Madrid does. Busquets picks out Ivan Rakitic. Sergi Roberto. Back to Rakitic, Gerard Piquet, Busquets to Iniesta, Thomas Vermeilen, Paulinho, Jordi Alba, Busquets to Suarez, lays it off to oh. Messi, Messi goes down, play on says the referee, clean challenge from Kovacic, sent over the top, Ter Stegen waiting and gets the ball out quickly to Sergio Roberto. We're inside the final minute of this half. Duncan, do we expect any added time? <laughs> I, I don't think so. It's been so frantic. I can't believe that 44 minutes has gone already. When you said that, I had to look at the, at the clock myself. I just can't believe that we're nearly, we've nearly had a half of football. Iniesta getting away brilliantly there from Luka Modric. Jordi Alba, Messi. Kovac work, working with him, look. Messi to Sergio Roberto. Normally one minute, I think. Yeah, I think so, with the injury to yeah. uh, Marcelo, to Iniesta. Oh. And there's a loose one, free kick for the challenge by Marcelo and Leo Messi, who gets up quickly. That's a bad timing. Yeah. A one minute added, is and that correct, Messi. Duncan? Yeah, one more minute. One extra minute. Well, it's a free kick to uh, Football Club Barcelona. Marcelo bringing Leo Messi down. Uh, is there any doubt about who's going to take this one, Mitchell? Definitely Messi. He probably fancies it's, it from here. It's, it's a long distance, but you know, uh, it's not a bad long Messi, distance, is it? For Messi, Messi, Messi is used to you know to, to a freaky like that, and he can do it, of course. It's a special thing. It's not bad for him. It's not about this. No, it's not too bad. Yeah, I think normally it's too far, but. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a good goalkeeper, it's yeah, quite it's hard. Yeah. You know, he's middle of the goal. Yeah, you've got a genius in there, yeah. you never know. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. It's that's... an inviting angle for the left foot, though, isn't it? Yeah. Leo Messi steps up. There's three in the wall. It's yeah. straight into the wall. Hits the head of Casemiro. Yeah. And the first half will end with a throw in to Barcelona. There's the whistle. The players troop off the pitch. And Frank de Boer, what an astonishing first half of football in the Bernabeu. Yes, especially from uh, Real Madrid's side. I think uh, technically they're doing very well uh, with the midfield. There's a high pressure from the start uh, to Ter Stegen, to the midfielders, uh, to the fullback. So, yeah, uh, they're winning this battle the first uh, half. And hopefully they can uh, keep this yeah, for the other 45 minutes for the uh, uh, Real Madrid fans. And, yeah, then it's... Uh, all in favour for Madrid right now. Mitchell Salgado, it's all in favour for Real Madrid. They've dominated the first half, but the score's nil-nil. That's got to be a big plus for I Football Club Barcelona. I was about to say that. The thing is that the game plan is, is working from Zidane, you know, a very generous effort, you know, from midfielders, from Ramadi midfielders. They're putting so much pressure on Barcelona. They're pressing really high. They're winning the ball back, you know, high on the pitch. And to be honest, the only thing that we miss from Real Madrid right now is capitalising the chances. Yep. Uh, Benzema had that brilliantly struck header that came off the outside of the post. Ronaldo got the ball in the back of the net in the opening minutes, only to be ruled offside. But to my mind, probably the best chance came at the other oh. end and that magnificent save from uh, Kayla Navas from Paulinho. Yeah, but uh, but also the, 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 maybe the greatest chance was uh, the, the, the miss of uh, uh, Ronaldo, Ronaldo in the first couple of minutes yeah. with his left feet. Of course. Yeah. He was yeah in the middle of the goal, um, 11 yards. Uh, 11 yards or 10 yards or something like that yeah normally with this quality has to be on, on, on target but uh, they, they deserve the goal but uh, yeah it's still no no so everything is possible right now everything possible right now in the Santiago Bernabeu look at that 50% possession for both teams two goal attempts for both teams it couldn't really be much closer, although Real Madrid has been the dominant force in the opening 45 minutes that's all from us for Thanks, Mark. Well, here we are looking forward to this second half. The players in the tunnel ready to come out. It's been a vibrant opening 45 minutes. Real Madrid, the dominant side, uh, but Barcelona, little by little, I feel, getting back into the game, creating good chances, making uh, Kayla Navas work as Sergio Ramos leads the Real Madrid players out onto the pitch. And uh, the Barca players, who surprised us all at the... Uh, warm-up and coming out incredibly late Mitchell do you find maybe it took Barca a while to get warmed up once the game had started yeah and that's why I think they started the, the game really slow yeah. I think Ramadi players were more ready than Barcelona players to start the game uh, my question right now you know after half time is can Ramadi keep that pressure that energy that Harding you know are working you know to try to outrun Barcelona and take the ball off them uh, well physically yes and uh, I think, you know, the, so far, uh, 
Zidane, Zidane has, been, has proved that you know his strategy is really good and he's working against Barcelona. He worked in the Super Cup with that high pressure yep. and he's working right now. So introducing Kovacic as a, in, in, the, in the system in the, of the team it's been a really, really good uh, thing, you know, for this Real in this classical. It seems to have worked over the opening 45 minutes. Duncan McMath, any changes? No changes um, at half-time, no. And, and, well, if you were Zinedine Zidane, you certainly wouldn't want to change anything at all. They've been fantastic in this first half. And, and the good news for Real Madrid, of course, we know that Barca generally score the majority of their goals in the second half. I think 70% this season in the second half. But the good news for Real Madrid is look at that bench. Isco, Asensio and Bale all to come in probably in the second half. OK, it's underway, the second half. The ball at the feet of Rafa Varane. Just to quickly remind you, playing for Real Madrid, Navas, Carvajal, Ramos, Varane, Ronaldo, Cruz, Benzema, Modric, Marcelo, Casemiro and Kovacic for Barcelona. Test Stegen, Piquet, Rakitic, uh, Busquets, Iniesta, Suarez, Messi, Paulinho, Alba, Sergio Roberto and Thomas Vermeilen. It's Sergio Roberto on the ball. He combines neatly with Paulinho, taking on Casemiro. Force wide, he turns round. And gets the ball through to Paulinho, taken off him by Kovacic, who feeds it to Luka Modric. Modric to Benzema, Benzema picking out Danny Carvajal. Carvajal pauses back inside to Luka Modric. Carvajal again. Still Carvajal turns. Luka Modric. Can't quite see the route through to pick out Benzema, he finds Marcelo instead with the outside of his boot, he picks out Ronaldo. Gerard Piquet's with him. Ronaldo, a little step over and another. He gets away from Piquet, tries the shot, always going wide, but it's once again Frank. It's Madrid who come out with a more intensity and get the first shot off. I already think uh, Duncan uh, said some uh, good point uh, in the first half about uh, Madrid wants it more, looks like it. Yeah, so yeah. they are more uh, aggressive. Also, you know, because of the tactic, you know, they are winning everything. Every 50-50, they're winning every challenge. So uh, it's waiting for the goal for uh, Madrid. I mean, the point is, they, they want it more because they need it. Because need it. Because of course, yeah, they're, no, they're, they're still true. 11 they're points true. behind, aren't they? Definitely, Ramadi know that uh, they need to win this game. It's a, it's a, it's a, win, it's a game that uh, it goes before Christmas. 40. A lot yeah, of frustration there, sorry, Mitchell, no, for please. Tony Cruz. There was a free kick given against Cas uh, for the foul on Casemiro. Tony Cruz took it quickly. The referee forced him back to take uh, the free kick from the spot where the challenge happened. Here's Tony Cruz. Under pressure from Paulinho. Oh, oh, Whoa! And that's oh. a tough one for Navas, who deals with it but only as far as Iniesta. Busquets dinks it over the top to Luis Suarez. Iniesta. Suarez gets it into the box. It's a slightly heavy touch. Navas quickly off his line. That was a dreadful ball back <laughs> to Navas. How brilliantly he dealt with it. Controlling the ball with his chest and then just getting it out of the deck. Could easily area. going wrong, eh, these kind of balls. Benzema now battling with Vermeilen, the only player who's seen a yellow card so far. Carvajal to Benzema. Carvajal again under pressure. He finds Luka Modric. Casemiro in the centre circle. Carlos, you didn't Messi know. takes it off him. Casemiro wins Strong. it back. The Barca players asking for a challenge. Not given. Ramos gives it away to Paulinho. Marcelo is up, look, always just a mirror covering Marcelo. Yeah, so uh, yeah. the system is working really well in midfield because the four midfielders are working really hard on and off the ball. Gerard yeah. Piquet. Rakitic to Sergio Roberto, now Paulinho, Barcelona looking yeah. to try and establish a little bit of pressure, a uh, little bit of control of the ball, it, but it's hard for them. It's great to see now that even Kovacic is behind Casemiro to try to stop Messi. Yeah. And doing a good job so far. Yeah. Iniesta to Jordi Alba. Barcelona yet to really take advantage of Alba's pace down the left. Here's Suarez. Finds Rakitic, Sergio Roberto in space. And Isco 
And I believe Asensio and Gareth Bale warming up as Rakitic gets into the box, lays it off for Suarez, cuts it back in, and uh, Luka Modric <coughs> gets that one away as far as he possibly can. Ronaldo battling with Piquet. The ball falls for Sergio Roberto. Duncan, am I right in the three players who were warming up for Madrid? Yep, you're right with the three players. Uh, Gareth Bale, Asensio and Isco, the three players that we mentioned earlier. What a bench that is uh, to bring on in this second half. For Football Club Barcelona, it's Andre Gomez and Nelson Semedo who are also warming up on the sidelines. OK, that could mean a change in role for Sergio Roberto if Semedo's the man brought on. Meanwhile, Gerard Piquet finds Leo Messi. Messi back to Sergio Busquets. Busquets turns. All of his touches within a square metre at most. That's a very loose That's ball back. Ronaldo oh, got there. It's a challenge. great challenge, isn't it? <laughs> Crucial challenge by Piquet. Ronaldo gets up. He knows that was a clean that, one, but it was a fundamental uh, challenge. But at least we see a different Barcelona right now. They are keeping the ball more. They are having more possession. They are more Barcelona. And uh, that's why I said, you know, uh, physically it's too much for Real Madrid, you know, to keep the pressure. And at, at a certain point, Barcelona will take, you know, the, the, control. the, the, the control of the game. But we've seen how Madrid, time and time again, have got the ball behind the pass of defence. Yeah. That could be a moment for Gareth Bale to come yes, on and definitely. make an effect. Definitely. Game plan is like that. He's trying yeah. to press high, try to, to win the ball high. But if you cannot do it when and you have to save energy, you know, Ramadi are really comfortable on the break. So that will, that will be the moment for Isco and maybe Bale. But also, what you see happening now, Madrid is making a lot of mistakes when they're building up now. Is there already the third pass that is not uh, receiving a Madrid player? So it's also playing in the cards of Barcelona right yeah. now. Well, the play on says the referee Busquets on the ball. He's being harried by three Let's men. Go. Casemiro takes it off in Benzema. Oh, Can't beat Rakitic. And now the referee is blown. And. Uh, Danny Carver, how furious with the referee. I don't know if you can see uh, what's uh, occurring down there, Duncan. Uh, no, but you're absolutely right. Carver, how right in the referee's face, saying, goodness only knows what, really not happy. I assume he wanted to play on. What I think so far it has been an example of sportsmanship out there. There haven't been the usual um, problems Correct. between players. There hasn't been too much intensity when the ball isn't in play, has there? No, it's been a, it's been a clear game, to yeah, be honest. It has. Here's Leo Messi, back to Rakitic. Now Jordi Alba, Busquets. Barcelona happy to enjoy some possession. Gerard Piquet very, on the ball. Very happy <laughs> to enjoy some possession. Oh, pa dangerous. Paulinho caught there. There you go. Balls for Tony oh. Cruz. And you can see the frustration in Ronaldo's body language there. If Cruz had made that pass, Ronaldo was through. Here's Rakitic to Busquets. Leo Messi just <laughs> pulls away from Benzema, picks out Andres Iniesta. Alba making a run, Iniesta sees him, of course. Alba gets behind him, cuts back, and it's uh, not Another the greatest save. shot from Suarez. Well saved by uh, Kayla Navas, but that's, I think, the first time Jordi Alba's been picked out by Iniesta on that left side to get behind uh, Danny Carvajal. Yeah, and it's the first time that Barcelona, you know, have been playing more than two minutes, you know, in possession, in in the position half. Marcelo on the ball. It's laid off by Casemiro for Benzema. Benzema to Carvajal. Loads of space for Carvajal. He plays it first time to Luka Modric. Modric returns it to the Madrid number two. Carvajal back to Kovacic. He looks up, picks out Toni Kroos. Cruz trying to feed it through to Benzema, Sergio Roberto saw it. What he didn't see was Marcelo in space. Busquets turning away from uh, Toni Cruz. He's so calm on the ball. So very, so it's confident. Rakitic bursting oh, oh. forward. Is that 3v2 now? Here's Sergio Roberto, first oh, time for Luis Suarez. Oh, 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 it's it's a a it's a Make it 1-0, oh. Luis Suarez. So questioned so often, and Barcelona. 50% of the goal is Busquets, sir. 50% of the goal is Busquets, and the Bernabeu is stunned. Well, it was so easy when it happened, Frank. Yeah, but it was unbelievable. He was under pressure, made the right decision, and he opened the 
opened the game totally. Yeah, he was under play. pressure, you know, surrounded by three, Can you know, Ramsey players putting pressure on him, and suddenly he has the calm to turn around and play a little ball into Rakitic. Rakitic gets the space, and they create a 3v2 with the two centre-backs, Ramsey centre-backs, and they do it really, really, really great. Rakitic laying it off yeah. to Sergio Roberto, Sergio Roberto well aware they that the, Luis Suarez the was perfect, there. They made the perfect triangle you have to do when you go 3v2. And Luis Suarez has been questioned so much this see. season. He's obviously physically not 100%, but he's scored 10 Liga goals now. And that, Duncan, uh, is a huge goal for Football Club Barcelona. What's the reaction on the Madrid bench? Um, well, they're obviously disappointed. It's a huge goal for Barca, as you say, and, and beautifully executed. And that also is why Sergio Roberto is playing right back. That's the kind of pass that he's capable of. He's really a midfielder by trade, so he yeah. jo joins the midfield very, very easily, makes the right run. Rakitic did brilliantly, didn't he, to, to lay the ball off at the perfect moment. And as you say, another goal for Suarez, who's getting more and more important in the last few weeks. He's really improved in front of goal. And what a fantastic partnership, Sergio Roberto and Luis Suarez. There was that brilliant cross from Sergio Roberto for Suarez's goal against Deportivo uh, last time out. They seem to form a really excellent partnership. Barcelona now in the driving seat. Mitchell, how are Real Madrid and Zinedine Zidane going to react to this? Well, it's, it's going to be difficult because Barcelona, they are starting to have the possession of the ball and, and the tempo is going slow, and that's good for, for, for Barcelona. So, Ramadi, they, they need to put some speed on this game. And one of the options, of course, is going to be Isco and Bell. And Bell will have um, a key role in, in, the last, in the last 25 minutes of this game. Marcel has crossed to the oh. far post. Benzema was up there. Jordi Alba getting it to the ball ahead of Benzema. It's played out. And Suarez going for Casemiro rather than the ball there. The referee, I believe, has just given a free kick. And it's uh, Suarez who stays down. Barcelona with 10 yeah. men on the pitch. You know, to the referee, I would say, don't get involved when Casemiro and Suarez are in there. <laughs> <laughs> don't get involved. <laughs> And it's going to have to be taken again. Iniesta and Messi talking to referee uh, Sanchez Martinez. Jordi Alba there too. Uh, there's absolutely no question in my mind that Suarez there went for Casemiro rather than the ball. Meanwhile, here's Ramos. Picks up Marcelo. Marcelo to Benzema. Does well to find Toni Kroos under pressure from Rakitic. Marcelo, Ronaldo That's making a run. Here's Benzema. He can't make the pass play. Rakitic no. to play the ball out, looking for Suarez. Rafael Varane, very aware of the danger, heads it down to Ra uh, Ramos. Ramos to Kovacic. That's a good play on, says the referee. Paulinho wins it. Here's Messi. Problems for Madrid. Messi, can he get away from Ramos? Ramos does brilliantly to get back. Suarez oh, going for the post. goal, hitting the side netting. Very, very impressive the defending from Sergio Ramos there. Yeah, he recovered really well. It's not easy to recover when you go Messi in front of it's you. Not. Well, it what wasn't. an astonishing opening 12 minutes to this half. Yeah, but Barcelona looking better now. And Real Madrid are not able to keep the intensity they had in the, in the, first, in the first half. They cannot press the high. And even I see Cruz losing a lot of balls right now. Yeah, I think that's, so many that's passes. the crucial that's, point. That's and, it, point. And it gives also Barcelona the confidence yeah. uh, back. So they make a lot of yeah, easy Look, uh, another one, mistakes. Another one another one. It's already the fifth times or something like yeah. that. The first know. half they didn't. Uh, they were accurate on the ball accurate. all the time. Modric there making a gesture to Danny Carvajal saying, "You saw where I was going to put that ball, didn't you?" Yeah. Another point is that you know you can feel how nervous the, the fans are with with uh, Benzema. Yeah. Yeah. Every time he doesn't quite yes. do it right, or it doesn't come off for him, there are groans, they are there getting, are moans. Yeah, they are getting really nervous with him. So is he going to be possibly the first change Zidane will make? Uh, you know, when you want to give confidence to your nine, you cannot change him. Right, good point. Meanwhile, it's Luka Modric and Danny Carvajal. His cross is blocked by Jordi Alba, throw into Real Madrid. Luka Modric. Thinks about the cross, tries it with the right foot, blocked by Rakitic, it falls to Suarez. Oh, and Ramos there with a rather naughty one. He's going to see a yellow card. Now, we were talking about this before. That was very obvious. I want to yes. see the replay here. I think that's a completely deserved yellow card. No, I don't I, think so. I, you don't think so? No. Let's watch yes. the replay. I think it was, it was between his hands. 
It looked to me like he saw that. Uh, Let me see. Yes. Oh, yeah, now the That's red card. A, a red <laughs> card, card. <laughs> absolutely. To be honest, yeah. Yeah. the referee has been really kind with uh, yeah. Sergio Ramos. I think he's playing with fire, Ramos, knowing the reputation. There is no need to do that. It's not necessary. The ball's going out yeah, for a definitely. throw in or maybe definitely. a, a, a non-threatening possession for Barca. In the beginning, I thought he wanted to, you know, avoid the, the body check. With, yeah. uh, so he wanted to turn uh, around him. So he has to use his arm a little bit, but this yeah. was really... But that's the dark arts, no, look, and he's look. a master of the it. dark yeah, arts. Well. Simon, yeah, there's well. a change coming. Uh, Gareth Bale has taken off his warming up top. He's um, about to come on. I think Zinedine Zidane's going to make a double change. I've just seen Asensio running back to the bench as well. So expect a double change right. for Real Madrid. Asensio and Gareth Bale about to come on. Yeah. Well, it sounds like Zinedine Zidane is reacting then. And certainly the Bernabeu is... Uh, Rising to the occasion, absolutely furious. I think with the referee, also with Piquet, who yeah. they think is wasting time. Zinedine Zidane's with body Piquet language saying the same. But again, you know, what do you expect Barcelona to do in those circumstances? Yes. Now they got the timing, uh, and to be honest, they don't have the pressure. Winning right now 1-0 in here is, is, uh, is great news for the league, for them. Well, right now, with 30 minutes to go, they're 14 points yes. clear of Real Madrid. And before Christmas, so imagine. The thing is that Zidane, Zidane is going to react, of course, with two changes. And he has to throw everything he's got in there on the pitch. Messi goes down. Free kick given. And again, the home fans erupt. It yeah. looked to me like As there was contact. Uh, the fourth official, uh, he said something in his ear, probably, because he didn't want to whistle. Right. Sergio Ramos, by the way, absolutely furious as the ball rolled out there. Um, Andre Gomez stood in his way and wouldn't let Ramos get the ball. He gave him a shove and went and grabbed the ball from, from behind Andre Gomez. So you can tell that Sergio Ramos is close to losing his cool here. Well, I'll tell you what, Duncan, I don't know if you saw the replay of that challenge he made that earned him a yellow card on Suarez, but the three of us up here think it was could have been a red card. Completely agree, completely agree. He raised his hand, it was aggressive, it probably should have been a red card. Well, we're going to see Gareth Bale and Marco Asensio come on. Who will they be replacing? The ball's still in play, so we'll have to wait a moment to find out. Oh, good ball. Alba finding Paulinho. Paulinho being chased by Casemiro. Picks out Sergio Roberto in space. Sergio Roberto back to Gerard Piquet. Square to Vermeilen. Jordi Alba. Barcelona looking so much more comfortable now. They've given yeah. that one away. Oh. One back by Suarez off Ferran. Suarez, oh. he couldn't find Messi. Oh. Falls to Paulinho. Paulinho's shot. Oh, Straight man. into the chest of Kayla Navas, who hasn't put a foot wrong wow. today. Ramon, you have to change something. Yeah, too much error. Started it's the again with it's an the error. Moment. It's the moment. Kovacic. Oh. Oh. Wow, by Leo Messi. Modric takes it quickly. It. Casemiro. Kovacic stays down, Casemiro driving forward, he's caught by Sergio Busquets. Play on, says the referee. Gerard Piquet driving forward. Now Leo Messi, still Piquet running forward. He oh, wants to go. What a pass. It's Suarez! Kayla Navas! Messi! <laughs> Off the post from Suarez! And it's in yeah. the back! Net is not going to stand. A red card. Red card. Handball. Handball by Danny Carver. How and he sent off. Oh, oh worse. well, that it's is a game changer. He's even worse. Danny Carver. How sees a direct red card. Doesn't stay on the wait, pitch wait. to argue. He's not going to wait now. That's going to make a, a difference yeah. for Zinedine Zidane. Asensio and Bell have to wait a little bit. They do. He need to adjust the, the, the defence, of course. There's no question, by the way, either. He, he literally saved it like a goalkeeper with his arm, with his hands. Brilliant first save from Navas. It's picked up by Messi. Well, mate. It comes off the post, and well, it's uh, a fantastic save. It's a great save. But my, you my, can see that he knows my, the red my, card's my, coming. My, my question is now, if, if he misses the, the penalty, Messi, what's better, the second goal of the red card? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. What's the point on that? Yeah, it's a, it's a good because point. Because finally, the, the ball is, in, is in, into, into the back of the net. It's a goal. Well, Messi misses a lot of penalties. Navas doing a dance. Messi! No, no this mistake one. this time. <laughs> so he didn't miss it. <laughs> Football Club Barcelona 2, Real Madrid 0. Oh. Yeah, f fantastic, uh, fantastic uh, penalty taken. You know, no chance for Navas. And uh, if you see the second half, they deserve, you know, uh, to to score another one because they are the, the dangerous side right now. And Absolutely. Madrid making error by error every time. 
that midfield. 14 points behind Barcelona, down to 10 men. There's the celebration from Messi, winding the Bernabeu up. Um, the atmosphere here could become toxic very quickly, uh, Mitchell. You asked what's better, the goal or the red card? They've got both. Both, yeah. Now it's a difficult situation for Zidane and, and his players. But to be honest, the game changed after half time uh, because obviously the, the tempo was slower for Real Madrid and they missed a lot of passes in midfield. Yeah. And it, 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 allowed, it allowed Barcelona to get the ball, get the possession and take over the game. What is it about Leo Messi that just comes alive in this stadium? He's the nightmare for this, these fans, isn't he? Okay, he won so much already, you know, this kind of game. He's looking forward to this kind of game because all the intention is on uh, Ronaldo or Messi. Uh, then the, Not the greatest step up then right now. OK, look, look, so look, the change. Look the answer from the fans when the might change. Nacho for Benzema and the Bernabeu is furious, as Mitchell points out. Well, it's, it's a normal change, you know, they have to adjust, you know, the defence and Nacho obviously has to be there. And the thing is that uh, you can see how furious the fans are with uh, Benzema with the change. But, I mean, presumably you push uh, Carvajal and Marcelo further up and play with three men at the back. And that's why Nacho's in, is that is that the reasoning? Well, you know, you need a defender, Carvajal is out and you need a defender, just that. I think Carvajal, as simple as that. I meant Marcelo. Fran is going to, uh, sorry, Nacho is going to be played as a, as a right back. And, uh, Ronaldo is a lonely and, striker right now. And now, now the problem is that Barcelona is going to have more and more and more possession. It's Ronaldo. And the counter is going to be very, very dangerous for us, for that's, Real Madrid. That's a brilliant piece of look, anticipation look, by look Piquet. Totally and Paulinho turns away from the challenge of Casemiro. Busquets finds Sergio Roberto. Sergio Roberto is caught by Cruz, I think, and wins a free kick. He's going to make the double change now, though. OK, that's, that's that's Sergio and Bale. Who for Mitchell? Who's, who's going to come on? I think uh, uh, or, or Casimiro or Cruz. I would say Cruz because Kovacic at least is, is working on Messi. Yeah. Casemiro has to keep the balance of the team, especially when you are playing with ten. Okay, and one so control has, midfield will, yeah. will go out. So he has to be Cruz uh, and, uh, and Kovacic. Look, I, would, I would say Cruz and Kovacic both. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll have to wait a while to see it as Gerard Piquet picks this one up. Probably it will. There's no other yeah. options. Cruz and Kovacic. Yeah. Obviously, Ronaldo is not going to be. No. The four defenders are not going to be. And Keller Navas is not going to be. So. No. <laughs> right. right. So, uh, I, he's been I, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I brilliant. Bet, brilliant. I will bet on brilliant. it. <laughs> so, my only options are Kovacic and Cruz. Well, we'll wait and find out as soon as the ball goes out of play. Meanwhile, Thomas Vermeilen on the ball for Barcelona. Yeah, Barcelona going to play position game uh, right yeah. now. So, they just, you know, make it very big. The pitch as big as possible, you know, and let it make triangles like this. But yep. well, suddenly Just all let the pressure is off Barcelona. And then suddenly they are one against one against the uh, Navas, you will see. Jordi Alba for Barcelona inside to Andres Iniesta. Alba to Rakitic, Vermeilen back to uh. Ter Stegen. Busquets. You get the impression Barcelona could keep this going for 10 minutes before they can make the substitution. <laughs> Iniesta. Flick on, gets it back from Alba. Frustrating for Modric, chase, ball chasing there. Oh, the ball. Leo Messi, back to Rakitic. Gerard yeah. Piquet, Sergio Roberto to his right. Oh. Luis Suarez. Back to Rakitic. Palinho with a good run. We didn't saw him. Here's well, Gerard Piquet well, again. We didn't talk too much uh, about Palinho, but he's making amazing runs in behind. Yeah. And he's the only one that supports a little bit Suarez, you know, when, the, the when penalty, they were attacking. The penalty, yeah. Yeah. the header. Yeah, the, the header penalty. is from him. He's always there into the box when you need him. Jordi Alba. A burst of pace for him. He goes down, and the referee, I think, quite rightly tells him to get on his feet. It looked to me as though he let the leg drag. Yeah, there. 100% okay. right time. It was, it was like that. Messi to Paulinho, lovely first touch. The second touch maybe lets him down. What a the... brave save from Kayla Navas. Again and still, run. Asensio and Bale continue their warm-up. Here's Marcelo. 
Ramos to Kovacic. Nice Barcelona pressing high. It's the other way around. Look, and and working winning too. the ball back in there in the position. In the position half. It's Cruz working hard. Play on. That was a fair challenge from Rakitic. Swan oh, in first down to ball. Messi. That Messi's on side. Still Messi. Tries the shot. Great. Brilliant left Great. hand from Navas. Well, if there's one player who deserves a, a 10 today from Madrid, it's that man in yellow, Kayla Navas. Full credit to him with all the media, as he said, all the media, everybody with a lot of rumors about bringing a goalkeeper last year with, uh, with De Gea, now with Kepa, and he keeps pre performing, he keeps professional in there. He, in the, and what he does is he makes that uh, those rumors become yeah, really difficult it, to make reality because course, he shows what course. a top-class keeper he is. Gerard Piquet for Football Club Barcelona. The Bernabeu are even kind of forgetting to cheer Piquet when he's on the ball now. There are other concerns for them. Yeah. Busquets finds Suarez. He's got time to look up. Picks out Messi. Messi turns away. Oh, <laughs> good run, Suarez. Iniesta. And Suarez frustrated that nobody saw him. Well, now the spaces are, are arising all the time. So uh, the Barcelona players, they, they see. They smell the blood. They see that there are spaces to run in behind, and all of them are doing it. Rakitic. Gerard Piquet. Thomas Vermeilen. And Madrid. Uh, this is what you want, know you know, from right uh, today. Barcelona point of view. You yeah. know, everybody whistling uh, to get pressure from uh, Madrid. Yeah, and then they will. Uh, yeah, try to make yeah, the runs behind the defense. Good work good from Cruz. It comes to Marcelo. Marcelo to Ronaldo. Ronaldo taking on Gerard Piquet. Gets the cross in. And uh, between Alba and Iniesta, they get a touch, but it falls to Modric. Iniesta quickly in between Modric and the ball. Danger over momentarily. Ah, oh, lovely play. Busquets. This kid is not bad. He's not bad, is he? Not bad, Iniesta. <laughs> not bad at all. Here's Paulinho. Still Paulinho, it's a bit of a hopeful one, and it will be a throw to Real Madrid, and we're going to see Gareth Bale wow. and Asensio at last. That's been a five-minute well, spell is the first one. without the ball going off. Kovacic is the first one to go off. Oh, no, it's Casemiro. Casemiro instead of Cruz. OK, okay. well, it's showing at least some attacking intent yeah. there. You know? Changes things. Ten men Real Madrid. So in a normal situation right now, uh, Cross, Cross, and Modric will drop a little bit, playing with two as instead of one holding midfielder, two holding midfielders. That's what I think. Gareth Bale. And then, yes, we need that. To run to. We need that. We need Bale. We need Bale today. That's a good ball in, but maybe just yeah, heavy. struck too firmly from Luka Modric. It'll be a goal kick. Bale made a brilliant run there. Didn't yes. He have to lay the ball off? Yes. We need those runs from Bale. He can get us back into the game. Well, with uh, still doing pressure. And a half minutes to go. There's there's time. Anything can happen in these games, and uh, look, we'll look, Paulinho look, alone in there. Yeah, he will give the ball. He will we'll receive the ball. I know. Yeah. It's easy to see from here. <laughs> from there, it's not that easy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here's Leo Messi for Barcelona. There you go. Oh, he picks out Sergio Roberto. <laughs> There's danger here. Second post. Ooh. We very nearly got through, but uh, it was uh, Ramos, I think, with a header. It was interesting then, Simon, just as Frank said second post, yes. you saw Luis Suarez pointing with his thumb over his head as if to say, not to me, to the back post, because Paulinho's making a run there. Asensio to Tony Cruz. Cruz picks out Luka yeah, Modric. Apologies. To me, Gareth Bale. Cuts inside Iniesta. A typical loping gate of his. He picks out Tony Cruz. Nearly caught by Messi. He finds Marcelo. Asensio outside Marcelo. Asensio's cross takes a deflection. Claims the handball. Waved away by the referee. Play on. Sergio Roberto to Messi. Gets the ball back. Only Luis Suarez up front now for Barca. He picks out uh, Rakitic, who knocks it down to Andres Iniesta. Iniesta happy for the seconds to tick away. 
Busquets. Paulinho. And Semedo is going to bring more speed in here in the right hand side. He's going to come on. No, it's, it's strange because uh, Sergio Roberto is playing fantastic. fantastic but, yeah. I, but I don't think he'll take him off. I think he'll move him up to yeah, the, probably. further up the, uh, the park to his possibly, ideal possibly. position because he can really cause Maybe plenty for Iniesta, I think Iniesta is going out. I think you may be right. Duncan, any suggestion with Nelson Semedo about to come on for Barcelona? No suggestion as yet. I haven't seen um, Valverde talking to any of the Barca players, but I wouldn't be at all surprised that Frank was right with Andres Iniesta coming off. We very rarely see him play a full 90 minutes these days, so it would be a perfect opportunity to take off Iniesta and push up Sergio Roberto. Piquet to Paulinho. Marcelo takes it off and Cruz returns it to the little Brazilian. Not even Marcelo can go it alone, though. It's played back to Ter Stegen. Calm as you like. That's a dangerous one from Piquet. Tony Cruz just over hitting the attempted return ball to Marcelo. Marc Andre Ter Stegen furious that he doesn't have the option of a pass wide to the oh, right. Messi, at the end the of Messi, the running behind. Ah, Varane is really, really powerful in there. Varane is really powerful. Oh, oh. no. Uh, oh, Messi, yeah, yeah. Messi put his hands up to his head as though apologising. Duncan, did you see that? Yeah, it was right in front of me. Um, I, I think maybe there was just a tiny bit of contact, but Varane's uh, yeah, very Iniesta clever. Iniesta is off. Iniesta is off. OK, well, we got it absolutely right. Frank, nice one. Andres Iniesta and 50-50 cheers, 50-50 applause from the Bernabeu. As I said in the first half, Mitchell, hats off to these fans. They're being beaten by the eternal rival. They're down to 10 men, 14 points behind. Iniesta's taking his time and there are still people applauding well, I applaud him because, you know, the fans in the air, they love football. Yeah. And they appreciate what Iniesta means, you know, for the Spanish football. I wonder if the same would happen if it was in the camp. No, I'm not quite so sure if it's the <laughs> other way round. But wow. either way, I, uh, I think we, we, we have to say that. Hats off to the fans at the yeah. Bernabeu today. Offside. So, Semedo slots in at, uh, on the right of the fence. Sergio Roberto moves into his natural position. Um, he's a player who's sacrificed for, for football for the good of Barcelona because he's such a great wide player. We've seen with the ball he put in for Suarez's goal. Well, um, well, he, he's, he's really good. Sergio, he Sergio, Sergio Roberto is the perfect player, you know, for the, for the squad. I yeah. think he's the, port, he's the perfect, you know, uh, Kid that any any father wants in at home. Okay. <laughs> he can do any job uh, on the pitch. Son -in -law, and it, perfect it, son in law. Yeah, <laughs> the perfect son in law. Yeah, definitely. So he can do. He can defend. He can attack. He can create. So uh, he's a really complete player. Oh, there, there you go. That one's fallen for Asensio. Ronaldo in the middle. Bale calling oh, it back. Vermeulen. And it's brilliantly defended by Thomas Vermeulen, who gets uh, a reward hug from Jordi Alba. The danger hasn't gone away as Marcelo swings the cross in. It's cleared by Alba and it's for us Modric. Modric turns away from Busquets, gets into the area, gets beyond Alba. Saved by Ter Stegen. He's had very little to do in the second half, but he pulls off a brilliant save there from Gareth Bale. Point blank the Welshman, and he couldn't finish it off. On his right foot, though, Simon. If that had been on his left, I think it would have been a goal. Well done, Nacho. Nacho showing his quality there, taking the ball off Messi. Here's Asensio. Yeah, we couldn't see Ter Stegen in this Elton half too much, right. and that's good for Barcelona, but when you need him, that's why he's a top class. That goalkeeper. makes it different within a regular goalkeeper and a fantastic goalkeeper. Yes. I mean, we've seen two such quality keepers out there today. Yep. Here's Gareth Bale. Dinks a delicate one out to Marcelo. Bounces awkwardly. Marcelo deals with it, gets away from Sergio Roberto, drives it into the box. Piquet misses it. Ronaldo goes down. Play on, says the referee. And Vermeulen did well. Swadif, brilliant challenge from Modric. It's down to Varane to start again. Bale screaming for it. Come on, Bale. Here's Bale. Gets it onto his left foot. Tries the shot. And Ter Stegen spills it, but on the second attempt, manages to gather it. Oh, fantastic thing is thinking again. 
But that's what we need, Dale. Our, our, our only chance right now is, is the Bale speed. And it looked, it's, it's so great to see him so confident and screaming for the yeah. ball. Yeah, and, and he's been on, what, five minutes, three minutes, and he's already had, made Ter Stegen yeah. pull off two saves. two saves. The only two saves Ter Stegen's had to make in this second, in half. This second half. Joao Piquet on the ball. Picks out Nelson Semedo. Sergio Roberto trying to get away from Ramos. Semedo overlapping. There Messi you go. sees Semedo. Semedo gets there ahead of Varane. Oh, oh another good save. save. I think it went through the legs of Kalen Abbas, but he just that got a touch, touch yeah. there to push it wide for a corner. With the back could, of the feet. Could so easily have been 3 0. Once again, Kalen Abbas saving Real Madrid, keeping them only just in this game. Nobody from Barca prepared to sprint to take the corner. Rakitic wandering across the rush and uh, guaranteed to annoy the uh, fans here. Uh, Duncan, it looks like Valverde is making another, uh, preparing another change. Is that true? Um, I, I, I can't see who it is, but the only player that's been um, warming up has been Andre Gomez. So I assume, yeah, 21. Andre Gomez about to come on. I've just seen his shirt. Meanwhile, Rakitic with the corner. Headed clear, only as far as Jordi Alba. There's Busquets. All the way back to Nelson Semedo. Sergio Roberto. Semedo again. Back to Ter Stegen, and why not in these circumstances? Less than 10 minutes left for 10-man Madrid to try and get back into this game. It's a huge ask. Uh, is there anything they can do, Mitchell? Because Barca seem to have yeah. this game exactly where they want it. You know, you know what you got in front of you, and it's Barcelona. They are really comfortable on the ball now. They got the quality to, you know, to play the ball, to play little passes until they got the space to exploit. Uh, so for Rabadi, play is very difficult. Very difficult to, to in this case, decide if if they push high and try to press and leave spaces in behind for Barcelona players, or just sit a little bit deep and try to play on the counter when when you win it back. When you uh, and you go Bale to do that. Well, that's, just that's, won it that's back. the only thing you can do, to be honest. Well, they just won it back. Bale uh, prevented from progressing any further by Busquets. Finds Modric. Now Ramos. Marcelo leaves it for Asensio. Marcelo on the overlap. And Semedo got a touch. It'll be a corner to Real Madrid. And uh, Andre Gomez about to come on for Football Club Barcelona. They take the corner quickly. Toni Cruz blocked by Rakitic. Oh, and Ramos's what attempt a save. into the side netting, saved in fact by Andre Ter Stegen. Well, he never dives. Eh? He's just standing and put his arms up. <laughs> he's got strong hands. Hasn't yeah, he, but he's always watching. He's not gambling. You know, he's always watching what the player is do uh, doing. There's a yellow card to Marcelo, and that's for dissent, yes, Duncan? Yep, something he said to the referee. He's continuing to talk to him here. He has to be careful here, Marcelo. Well, you have to say full credit to Real Madrid, because with 10 men, down to 10 men, they are keep, they keep pushing, and they're creating three clear chances, two from Bale, and now this last one from, you know, from Ramos. Cruz with the corner, Piquet oh, heads no. it down, but not away. A sent to Modric. Modric. Ronaldo! Oh, my God! And so close to getting on the end of that was Sergio Ramos. Ramos. Hey, he loves an occasion like this, Sergio Ramos. Loves to score against uh, the old Especially, the, you know, around 10 minutes to play. You know, you get the stadium behind you. Absolutely. Was offside also. Meanwhile, it's going to be Sergio Busquets who's replaced by Andre, Andre Gomez. Gomez. No, no, no. No, it's Paulinho. 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 Uh, he, got, he got it wrong then. No, no. Because no, he held no, up the five, didn't he? I was 15. I, I think it was 15, it. yeah. I no. think you're right, Duncan. No, no way he's going to replace no, Busquets right now. Of course. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm so surprised. But it, Paulinho, it make sense. Uh, a brilliant performance, no, no. I think, from Paulinho today. Yeah, fantastic performance. Yeah, he was uh, offensively, defensively, he was fantastic. And uh, he was, you know, yeah, really the yeah the the player who was between the defense and the and the attacking players so uh, compliments th to him i think he was the best player when barcelona were really quiet to be yeah, honest in so. the first half in the first half yeah well he certainly put the effort in he's rewarded with six or seven minutes of rest as barcelona seek to hold on to this advantage leo messi picks this one up gomez with his first touch back to messi Messi to Busquets. 
Vermeilen, Gerard Piquet. Sergio Roberto, Rakitic. Piquet, Sergio Roberto. Masses of options, he chooses the yeah, best one, Leo Messi. The oh dear, here's the chance for Andre Gomez. And getting in there was Rafael Varane. It'll be a corner to Barcelona. That is a brilliant interception. Suarez not happy. <laughs> no. He wanted the ball, you know, like the first goal. And once again, Rakitic taking all the time in the world to get across there to take it. The save oh, on his shoulder. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, it's a game that's like been a... absolutely full of brilliant individual performances. It's Busquets who's been one of them. Oh, lovely first touch from Rakitic to get away from Marcelo. Oh. And there waits Sorry. is Gareth Bale. Bale making a sprint. And Modric can't see the way through. Maybe Tony Cruz can, who's going the oh, other way. Another sensing. Nacho. Modric to Gareth Bale. Bale cutting inside. Finds Asensio. And it's Leo Messi who takes the ball off him. And uh, I can hear one or two uh, rounds of applause around the Bernabeu on, with Messi taking that one off. I think it's the very few Barca fans who are here who are the happiest definitely, at the moment. Definitely. We're in the last five minutes. Real Madrid, remember, down with ten men after Danny Carvajal took one for the side, a red card for saving off the line with his hand. It's 2-0 to Barcelona because Leo Messi put the resulting penalty away after Luis Suarez had got the Catalans in front. And it's an uphill struggle for Madrid now. You can see that they're tired. Sergio Roberto breaking away from Ramos and Modric. We said that the effort in the first half it was too big. Here's Leo Messi. Still Messi gets into the box, still Messi. And couldn't quite make the pass to Suarez, wow. who's frustrated. But he didn't be too frustrated, Frank, because Barcelona surely are now 14 points clear of Real Madrid. Yeah, it is, should be strange if it's uh, getting still to a draw. So it's uh, is waiting for the 3-0 uh, right now. And uh, yeah, they're controlling the game. And uh, there's a big uh, setup for uh, all Madrid fans, of course, you know, and also for the for La Liga, you know, if somebody's like uh, so many points clear. You know, yep. it's not good for the league, of we, course. We have to remember that it's not just Barca and Real Madrid in Valencia, this league, no, though. Valencia, Madrid. Yeah, Valencia is doing very well. And there's Atletico Messi! Madrid. And a good save again from Navas. Atletico Madrid are six points behind Barcelona. Yep. Uh, that goes to nine uh, with this result today. So, uh, certainly a big gap. Did I do my calculations correctly there, Duncan McMath? Yeah, you did, yeah. Thank um, you. Uh, not course, always the case. Of course, yeah. Atletico yeah. lost uh, yeah, was against Espanyol yesterday, so that was a yeah. pity for them. Right, of course. Tony Cruz. Asensio. Sergio Ramos. Two and a half minutes to go. Marcelo. He'll never stop running until he hears the final oh, whistle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's caught yellow. by Busquets. What colours the card? Yellow for Sergio Busquets. A little bit unnecessary, that. No doubt, a very, very late challenge from behind there on Marcelo. And that's the yellow card that Sergio Busquets didn't want to pick up against Deportivo. That's why he wasn't played, because it's his fifth yellow card, so he misses Barca's next La Liga game. Tony Cruz with the... Could also be on purpose there, then, that he wanted. It could well be. It's well timed. Yeah, 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 no, definitely, definitely, yeah, on, Christmas. definitely is on purpose. Yeah. Cruz to take the free kick. We're inside the last two minutes of the... Final Classico of 2017-18. And that oh, one smashing onto the head of Ramos. He didn't have time to respond. It'll be a goal kick to Barcelona. And Mitchell, how do you feel out there just in the white shirt, knowing your rivals have come here and won for the third successive time in La Liga in the Bernabeu? Well, the first thing is always really, really difficult to take when you lose against Barcelona at home. That's the first thing. Of course. The second one, obviously, is the difference right now in, in the league. And bear in mind, not only that the difference is big, you got a very difficult tie in the Champions League against PSG. 
So uh, that g this game, would, you know, would be crucial to try to, you know, close the gap a little bit and get some confidence for that uh, for that tie as well. Right now, uh, they go for Christmas. This, you know, the, the break. They have to think about it and get back into into the job. But to be honest, it's really tough to take for all the fans, for for the media, for for the players and you know, for the manager. Well, the fans are starting yeah, to head out of March. the Bernabeu, and you you have to understand why. Uh, this isn't the Christmas present anybody wanted here in Madrid. And for Barcelona, they've been criticised for not being the Barca of old and the, the Barca we, we're used to seeing for being more pragmatic and less thrilling to I, watch. I, I, I uh, but they're doing the results still I, unbeaten at the end of 2017 I, in I, La Liga. I, I think this is a professional win. Yeah. and a pragmatic win to be honest you know obviously they, they they stay into the game in the first half maybe they couldn't they could couldn't see the goal but they stay into the into the into the game and in the second half when they had the possession when Ramadi were a little bit tired was the moment where they capitalized the chances so they were waiting for the right moment to hit Real Madrid it's Suarez he lays it off to Leo Messi three minutes have been added Liz Leo Messi can they add to the pain no, they can't. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's a yeah, terrible yeah, yeah. miss there from Andre Gomez. He had a chance there of a little bit of glory. Doesn't get too many, Duncan McMath. Hey. It missed the target by a long way there. Well, that's two 100%. golden opportunities he's had, huh? and both times he was really slow to get the ball out from under his feet. He had all the time in the world, took too much time to get the shot away, and in the end, put it over the crossbar. But as you say, yeah, he's yet to score in La Liga this season. Uh, Duncan, uh, Alex Vidal coming on to replace Sergio Roberto. Yeah, just for the final couple of minutes well just the added time in fact there'll be three minutes of added time Alex Fidel replacing Sergio Roberto who I think has been one of the, the best players best performers for this Barca side Frank do you agree Sergio Roberto yeah it was fantastic uh, defensive wise uh, first half he uh, did very well so because he had a lot of problems with uh, fullbacks and, uh, and midfielders I, running behind, with running yeah. behind yeah. so uh, he did very well Gerard Piquet, oh, and there's a chance for Alex Fidal. Can he find... He can't make the pass pay. Rafa Vran, who's also been brilliant for Real Madrid, well, brilliant, gets the block, yeah. it'll be a corner, and uh, just about the final play of the game. Again, Ivan Rakitic to take it. Again, he's going to kill, what, a minute at least, getting across there. And there's not really that many people left in the Bernabeu behind no. the uh, goal defended by Ter Stegen, the, uh, the fans who get most behind the club. Nobody's left from there, but uh, the rest of the stadium, I think showing the, the state of mind of uh, Real Madrid right at this moment, Mitchell, uh, it's a sad day. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an unpleasant moment, you know, right now, and for the fans it's no easy to take, so, um, well, you have to be professional, you know, you're playing a very big game. Here's Messi, and it's 3-0 oh. to Football Club Barcelona. It's Alex Vidal, Messi getting just beyond Marcelo, kept the ball in play, it's over. pulled it back, and it is all over now. Football Club Barcelona score the third, and there's something special about that scoreline. Let's just repeat it all for you. It's the final scoreline this season in La Liga in the Santiago Bernabeu. And it's 10-man Real Madrid nil, Football Club Barcelona three. Yeah, fantastic action from Messi again. You saw he just wanted to show something uh, for the fans, <laughs> looks like it. And uh, yeah, he did, fantastic assist. Well, it just shows that lethal streak in this Barcelona. You used the word pragmatic, uh, I think, correctly earlier, uh, Mitchell. It is pragmatic. And um, there's also that idea that you beat them 2-0 and they say, yeah, fair enough, but we were down to 10 men and we can live with that. But 3-0 in the Bernabeu for Barcelona, that's going to make a lot of people have yeah, a pretty hard time over these Christmas holidays. It's a big impact, but we have to say, you know, that uh, Red Car is, 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 playing, uh, is playing a big thing. Obviously. Um, and the problem is that when you play for Real Madrid, even if you're losing to nil with 10 men down, you have to go for the game because the fans, that's what they want, that you never give up. Well, I mean, I think there were certain Madrid players whose performance uh, couldn't really be questioned. Uh, Football Club Barcelona, on the other hand, they seem to have a really clear plan. We talked about Zinedine Zidane's plan, bringing in Kovacic, 
coming out with plenty of intensity in the first half. But Barcelona held on, and in the second half, they were just too strong. With or without the red card, Barcelona were the better team after the break. Yeah, well, by far, because uh, Madrid made a lot of uh, yeah, unnecessary errors. And, you know, that uh, was playing in the cards of Barcelona. And it wasn't, ne it wasn't necessary. It wasn't of the pressure of Barcelona, right. but they were very sloppy with the passing. And suddenly, the, the, uh, the game changed it, uh, totally around. And because Madrid had fully the control the first half.